Do you want to know what the eight phrases are that will destroy narcissists? Watch till the end of this video and I'm going to give you them all. Hi, I'm Rebecca Sung, and as many of you know, I'm an attorney, I am a best-selling author, and I'm a narcissist negotiation expert. I know that sounds kind of like a weird thing to say that I do for a living, but that is what I do. And I help people all over the world on how to negotiate powerfully and successfully with narcissists. So if you're so ready to shift that dynamic and make it happen for you and actually get what you want without drama, trauma, and chaos and come out unscathed, it's possible. So go ahead and subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell. And that way you'll find out how to do it too. All right, so let's talk about those eight phrases that will destroy narcissists. So first of all, narcissists are extremely fragile. They don't act fragile, I understand that, but they are actually very extremely fragile in a lot of ways, they're way more scared of you than you are of them. Uh, and so, you know, a lot of this, I just want to say at the beginning, you don't want to say these things that, you know, are going to, and, and put yourself into a bad position. I don't want you to do anything that's going to put yourself into a position of being potentially uh, afraid, fearful, in fear for your life, in imminent fear of you know, harm in any possible way. So I say all of these things um, so that you can kind of caution yourself on the best ways to actually phrase something so that you can actually get something that you want out of the situation. Okay, so be very careful when you are saying some of these things. A lot of them I would say don't say uh, some of them I would definitely say do say, and I'll, I'll kind of like delineate that out as we go forward here. Okay. So the first one is, I know that you are, and then insert like bad thing that they're doing. Like, I know you're lying. I know you're cheating. I know what you're saying isn't true. Anything that exposes them basically, like um, if you are getting ready to expose a narcissist, you want to be very, very strategic about it. And there are times that you want to do that a hundred percent. And that's going to be part of your leverage and part of an overall strategy that you're creating when you're going to negotiate with them. I am a hundred percent all for ethically manipulating the manipulator and getting them to do something that you want them to do. But um, you have to be super careful about how and when you are going to present the information. Okay. So so the first one is just anything that exposes them. All right. The next one is, I don't remember that. Basically what you're saying in this one is, you know, I, I'm not paying full attention to everything that you're saying. And that's definitely going to destroy them. They want to feel at least like you are um, revering them and at you, you, they have your adulation and everything that they're saying and doing, you're hanging on. And so if you say something like, I don't remember that, or I, you know, it doesn't, it's sort of a whatever to me, then that will destroy them. And, you know, by the way, you know, kind of, we all want to feel seen, heard and know that we matter. So some of these things are also things that, you know, might not, might be hurtful to any of us. Right. Um, okay, so the next one is, and this is totally a narcissist thing, and that is uh, the I can't right now, or I, you know, I don't have time for you right now. Um, that's something that, you know, a reasonable person will understand if you are a busy person and, you know, maybe you didn't have time to read that text right at that moment, or you didn't have time to, uh, you don't have time to drop everything that you're doing and, and do it right for them right at that moment. Um, but narcissists are extremely easily slighted. Uh, and, you know, like they even hear tones. Like I, I always say they hear tones like dogs hear whistles. Like, you know, there was no tone. Like, but they think it's sarcastic and they think that there's something that you said or did. So um, you, you have to be very careful about, um, you know, their ego with that. And, and I say that because you want to be able to get what you want from them. So you want to be careful about 
how and when you're going to present things and how and when you're going to say certain things. So you, you, you want to be definitely strategic about that. But if, if you hear that from them, that's definitely something that, um, that, that they, you know, won't like. So you, you just got to be careful about the I can or whatever, but of course have your boundaries, right? Of course have your own boundaries. All right. So the next one is you are a failure or you're a loser. I'm so disappointed in you. Something like that. I mean, you can certainly say things like, you know, um, this isn't working for me. Uh, this situation isn't working for me. This conversation isn't working for me. The way you're saying that isn't working for me. Something like that. Uh, you're, the, the, the way you're coming across. Um, but be very careful about saying things like you're a loser. That's one of those that I would highly recommend you stay away from. You don't want to put yourself into a dangerous situation. And it's not going to get what you want out of the negotiation anyway. All right. So that's that one. Um, and the next one is you caused, like you caused bad things to happen. It's your fault. It's your responsibility, something like that. They definitely don't want to have to take responsibility for anything. If you try to get them to take responsibility for something, then it's, you know, uh, deny, deflect, project, uh, all of those things. Um, and if you've seen that, if you've seen any of these things so far, give me an I've seen it down in the comments below. Um, and, and you, you know, you do want to be careful because you don't want them to come unleashing on you and you don't want them to, you know, have that narcissistic rage come flying out. Right. So, okay. The next one is, I don't believe you. And this is, you know, where you're basically saying to them, I know you're a liar and uh, I see through you. I'm, I'm, I see exactly who you are. Um, and uh, by the way, if you do try to catch a narcissist in a lie, you definitely want to check out my video on that. I have a whole video on what happens when you try to catch a narcissist in a lie. They try to like slither their way out of that situation, right? And sometimes they can be very good at it, but sometimes they think they're better at getting away with it than they actually are. So um, that's the next one. The next one is just the word no. They don't want to have to be told no. They don't want to have to be told um, that you're not going to, you know, do exactly what they say when they want you to do it and all of those sorts of things, right? It's like, um, you know, they want to have full control over you. They want, they want to know that you are going to jump when, when they say jump and they're going to say how high they work very hard to have control over you. I mean, they, they like to have control over everything. And so they don't want to hear that word. No, that's definitely a word that will destroy them. So, you know, when you are dealing with them, especially in a negotiation setting, there are ways that you can disagree with them without actually disagreeing with them, like by saying no. I mean, you can even say things like, I agree, that's your position. I agree that that's how you feel. I agree that your offer is blah, blah, blah. Then they hear, I agree. So you can say those things without actually having to say no. I mean, you can even say things like, good point, great feedback, thanks for sharing you know, something like that. And, you know, but blah, 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 blah. You just, you don't have to physically say the word no. Okay. And the last thing that they, that will actually destroy them, even though they treat you terribly sometimes is the word goodbye. They don't want to see their source of narcissistic supply walking out the door, whether it's in a business relationship or a a personal relationship, they do not want to see you walking out the door. So, um, you know, they don't want to see the word goodbye. It's, it's so confounding because they treat you poorly and then wonder why you want to leave. But that is one of their biggest fears, by the way. And you want to check out my video on what their biggest fears are is you leaving, um, you abandoning them. So they don't want to hear that word goodbye. Um, and so I'd love to know what other phrases you think will destroy narcissists. Definitely drop a, the comment below and let me know. And if you like the video, 
just give it a like and share it out. And um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do that now. And if you haven't grabbed my free Crush My Negotiation Prep Worksheet, you can grab that at winmynegotiation.com. Uh, if you also would like to join my free private Facebook group, feel free to do that, Narcissist Negotiators with Rebecca Zung. Would love to have you in there. Thank you so much for stopping by today. And remember that today is a great day to start negotiating your best life. I will see you in the next video.